All right, my man, first things first, you have an excellent golf swing. When I first saw this video, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't really have anything for you, but as soon as you said you missed the ball right, that clued in something really quickly. Now, I have this line drawn on kind of your butt at a dress there, and notice towards impact, your butt comes off that line so you're moving towards the ball when you do that you can get a little bit on your toes and that's going to cause the club to get stuck a little inside you and it's going to throw that path to the right and you can miss some shots to the right there right so that's that's a very good player problem and it's a problem i actually have right now so i'll give you a couple drills to do to help that great swing all right first things first i just want to say thank you for sending in your swing like I said in the video, you have an excellent golf swing. Your your setup is great, your tempo is great, your club face control is really good, your club path looks really solid. You have an excellent swing. So unless your short game and putting sucks, I'm not sure what you're doing wrong. But keep working hard, you're doing a lot of things right. But like I said in the video, there's one big thing that can cause you to hit some shots to the right. And it's the same problem I have. It's a good player problem, essentially. <clears throat> like I alluded to in the video, when you take the club back, everything's nice and perfect, right? You get to the top of your swing, which is great. However, as you start that downswing, your butt is traveling towards the ball, right? Your pelvis is going towards the ball. And when you do that, sometimes it's going to cause the club to shallow out and it's going to get that path going hard to the right. Okay? And that's going to make it very easy to miss some shots to the right because you kind of get stuck and your options are to let the club path go right with a slightly open face and it's going to go right. Or you're going to try to fix it by flipping it and getting that, getting those hands involved, which is never great. It's very difficult to time that. Sometimes you'll get it right, but a lot of times you won't. And you'll either hit some shots straight or you're going to hit some shots to the left. But that's the biggest issue, man. And a lot of that is stemmed from the work you do in the ground. Now, I have made a couple videos on this, so this may get repetitive, but trust me, if you do this, it's gonna help you out. So essentially, as you come at the top of your swing, right, butt's here, ideally, that butt stays nice and back. That gives you so much more room just to allow your body to rotate. You got really fast hips, so you need to take advantage of that, right? But if you come towards the ball, you're now really limiting that space. Right? So if you keep it back, you got a lot of space. If you're going towards it, you're not going to have a lot of space. You're going to get on your toes. And again, going to go to the right. We don't want that. So two things you can do. The first thing is a little simple drill you can do with your golf bag or a chair, whatever. doesn't matter. Grab this guy here. Very simple. We've all seen this drill before. Right? So when you set up to address, um, have your butt slightly in contact with that um, bag, chair, whatever. Get to the top of your swing, make sure you're in contact with it. And as you're coming down, really make sure you stay in contact. Now, if you can stay in contact throughout, that means your butt's staying back and you're giving yourself a lot of room. You're not traveling towards the ball, okay? So, top of your swing, and then feel like as on the downswing, you're still staying connected with that, right? That's one drill. I want you to almost feel like you're trying to push it down, right? And this is another thing, another feeling you can use that really helped me, really helped me. Again, this is gonna stem from the ground. So there's three forces you can use from the ground. It's your vertical force, your torque, and your horizontal force, okay? So for you, if we're coming this way, we're not using the ground as effectively as we should, right? So as when we're coming on the downswing, I want you to feel like that left foot is pushing back, pushing back. And when you do that, that's gonna keep that butt back, right? So as you're coming down, squeezing into the left heel, push back, and that's gonna give us a lot of room to allow the club to swing through. So like I said, my man, you have an excellent golf swing. Don't change anything. Your club face is good, all that stuff, posture is good, setup is good, don't change anything. Maybe work on your putting and chipping because you should be shooting under par all the time, my man. But that's the biggest thing, because under pressure, that comes out, trust me, I did it. I played really badly when I had that as my biggest issue, right? It's just very difficult to um, to get rid of mid-round. So really make sure you work on that very deliberately. And you can do a lot of slow-mo practice swings 
really feeling like that staying back and then come through. So go slow, pick up the speed a little bit as you get the feeling of it. Key thing is though, really feel like that butt staying back and you have a lot of room. Push that ground away from you. So this is going back this way, like that. And then again, give you more room to just allow yourself to rotate. But again, really appreciate you sending the video, my man. I, that means a lot that I got support from guys like you. So I hope that helps. Any questions, feel free to message me. Um, if you want to send me like, you know, anything else, let me know. But love the swing. Keep doing a lot of the good work. And I'll see you, see you soon. Any questions? All right, take care.